Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking of a mobile device in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network other than the one that it originally came from. By default these days, most mobile devices are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original carrier that sold the device, and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S10e that is originally from Sprint here in the U.S., and this is a device that has not yet been SIM unlocked because we have a different carrier SIM card inserted, and we can see the notifications here that tell us that it is an invalid SIM card, and it's also saying to please contact Sprint to unlock your device. So those are the pretty standard messages that you get anytime that you insert a non Sprint SIM into a device that has not been SIM unlocked yet. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us to assist them with this specific issue, usually either because they themselves wanted to change carriers before qualifying for Sprint's uh, uh, SIM unlock to do the unlock for them at no charge, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the phone was still locked. They either claim that the phone was already unlocked, or they claim that it was already eligible to do the unlock through Sprint, and then after the purchase went through, the buyer discovered that that wasn't true, that the phone was still locked, and the seller had long since disappeared. It's a very common scam that happens all the time these days with the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get this device SIM unlocked without having to go directly through Sprint and meet all of their requirements. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer, and that's actually what we're doing right here right now as we speak. The great thing about this procedure is that it's something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world, so you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did right here right now. So, as you can see, all I did was restart the device there after our unlock program finished running. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that SIM card back in, and then we'll show you what we get. Sliding down the notification panel, we will be able to see right away that we don't have those error messages there anymore. So that invalid SIM card and the one about contacting Sprint is gone, and there's just something about Google Play Protect there. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Oops. Another sign that the phone is already unlocked is that you get the SIM card changed message. I had forgotten about that, so we do have to restart that for it to work with the new SIM card. So just hold on here while it runs through and does that. You might also notice there it now shows the AT&T logo when it turns on. A lot of Samsung's newer flagship phones actually change the apps and the logos and the software and a few things in the phone to make it match the SIM card that we're using. The SIM card that we have installed in this phone is actually from uh, AT&T's main prepaid provider, which is Cricket, and so that's why I've applied the AT&T options there. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the phone now if we go under... If we go under mobile networks, we'll see something here that we wouldn't have seen before, and that was AT&T Mobile Network Diagnostics. And then if we go to About Phone, we can see that the phone is indeed registering the phone number from that SIM card that we had inserted. So the phone has now been SIM unlocked and is usable with any other carriers that are compatible with it. That also applies to carriers in, in other countries as well. So if you're looking to use the phone internationally, that should work just fine.
Now, if you have a Galaxy S10e from Sprint or from any of their other partners like Boost or Virgin that needs to get SIM unlocked, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all the contact info there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.